Hello YouTube, Bricks Unbound here with a LEGO Elves review. This is one of the Spring 2016 sets. Set number 41174, The Starlight Inn. This set comes with 343 pieces and retails for right around $30 in the United States. Let's go ahead and start out by looking at the Starlight Inn that gives the set its name. And this is really a nice build. Looking at it from the front, I do really enjoy the look of it. The colors mesh nicely with this bright green and the tan, the dark tan. Even the, uh, I think it's lavender color for the door here, really doesn't bother me that much. It has nice contrast to the rest of the building. This is a sticker here above this window for that design, but it is a nice looking sticker. You get several of these nice window pieces in the set as well. And then in front of the end we have some various crystals growing as we see in lots of these elves sets. The sign up here is a sticker. It is a double sided sign so two stickers put on there. Luckily they're not too terribly hard to apply. Really none of the stickers in this set are. And perhaps the best thing is, you see those windows there? Not only is that a great design, but those are printed. So you do not have to put those on as stickers. That would have been annoying because they would have been clear back stickers and your fingerprints would have been stuck there for all of eternity if you got them stuck on it. Other than that, we get some nice bright foliage pieces, as is common in these friend sets, along with one of those relatively new six stem flower pieces, which looks just as fantastic as ever. And then off to the side here, we have this telescope piece, which you can, well, you're supposed to be able to rotate it around. What is wrong with my set? Oh, I have stuff in the way. Okay, so the stuff that is in the way here, there we go, now it can rotate. But the stuff that is in the way can be on the interior of the end or the exterior of the end is what it shows in the box here. Have a nice little table and chairs set up. Here we go. On the table you got a map and I'm thinking these are probably supposed to be cookies of some kind. Uh, just some refreshments for your elves to snack on as they're looking at their map and then a little inkwell with a quill coming out of it here. So you can you can set the little mini dolls down in their chairs and push them under the table and that's basically what you have to do to keep them there. Since they don't have studs on them, they will just kind of fall off the chair without it being pushed under the table. But I do think that's a nice look there. We have our elves sitting up the table reading their map. And the build for this is really quite nice, especially like these chairs here. It's a very simple build. Um, I really like the backrest, I think is really what does it for me, having those antler looking pieces up there. These are not printed, those are stickers on each seat. So you make two of the exact same chair, but they look nice. For the table itself, another very simple build that looks good if the figures are in the chairs, I think. Otherwise, the table is a little bit high. It's all the way up to their shoulders almost, so they're not going to be able to do a whole lot of looking at that map unless they crawl up on top of the table. Now that we've seen the front of the inn and the table, let's take a look at the back side of it here. And as we turn around to the edge here, you're going to notice one problem I have with this set. Take a look at that roof. So, it looks great from the front. I like those angles. It's a little unfortunate they have gaps here, but then you turn around to the side and it's only two, two studs wide there. Um, which gives you play area up top, but it does kind of take away from the look of it. This is a set that I think would have benefited from maybe being a little bit more expensive so you could expand the roof a little bit because right now this is not a very big inn and as you can tell it only has one bed so again not not a huge inn up there uh, that bed does have two stickers on it which you do have to get those lined up pretty good and mine are actually even off a little bit but they have those golden lines that go through there that looks a little funny if you don't get that lined up quite right underneath the bed is this very nice build for a drawer actually it just slides out here and then it has a little suitcase in it that's how that's built so they just attached some jumpers to a panel and it slides right underneath here fits quite nicely so in there we do get this suitcase and we do have something quite nice inside the suitcase and that is this compass piece look at that that is a printed piece and you of course get an extra as a spare part that piece is super useful, not just for this set, because it's definitely not 
hasn't been uh, frenzified, meaning that it doesn't have a bunch of pink and purple on it. So you could use it for some seafarers on an adventure or some explorers walking through the woods or whatever. So great piece there. Above that we have a little constellation chart here which has a dragon constellation on it, it looks like. And then a uh, probably a candle I'm guessing with the flame going off in the white part there. And this can be a little resting spot for one of your figures. They don't really have enough room to lay down there. So we still only really have one full bed, but you could have somebody else up top. And now down to the first floor. We have our main entrance door here. And a nice uh, mat here that is a sticker though, uh, which detracts from a little bit maybe. Behind that we have a fireplace and you can start the fire, turn off, or put out the fire just by rotating this cone here on the edge. So that works pretty well. It doesn't stay upright very well though, so that's a bit unfortunate. You'd shake it around a little bit and see it already fell over. Around this side we get a golden frying pan and then a little teapot here. And one thing that I like about these teapots is that they have a little place here they can accept accessory uh, type pieces. So as you saw on the table, we have this uh, used as a quill, but you do get an extra one as a spare part. So there you go, stick it right into your teapot here and... Okay, tea's done, go ahead and serve it up. And there is a spot here, a little jumper piece, where you can stick your teapot or your frying pan to heat it up. So I like that feature. And then here's another printed piece. Yay for a cool printed piece in the set. Those just look like the ends of logs to blow it into your fire and get that going. But look at that print. That's, that's just pretty neat. It's a little detail they didn't really need because you could have just easily left it as those cylinder pieces and I think it would have looked just fine. But they didn't do that. They gave us a little bit more detail on that which is always appreciated. Above the fireplace here we have a key. Presumably this is the key to the main door here and of course it does fit in there. And then a little coffee mug here because apparently it's not just the city folks who like their coffee, also the Lego elves like it too. I mean it could be used for tea which is probably the purpose here but I just think it's funny that there's always a coffee mug it seems like in sets. Over on this table we have a bottle of, I'm not really sure what that's supposed to be, uh, we'll just say water for right now. Uh, or some Elvendale Ale, Elven Ale, I don't know. Uh, sure it's non-alcoholic. <laughs> then behind here we have a sticker which has some prices for our various things we sell. So it does look like those little uh, things on the table I said were cookies are indeed cookies. And it costs you two, I don't know if that's two leaves or if the leaves are just an outline there, but two Elvendale currencies. You can see over here these stairs are kind of crooked. So when you turn the telescope up top here, it turns that around. And by default, I like to have the stairs showing because that way your figures can climb up top here and go to bed or go look at their star charts. But if you turn it, it reveals this key. But what does this key go to? Because I mean there's only one door here, right? Well I think, this it doesn't say for sure in the description, but I think it goes to the other buildable element from this set. So you can have your mini doll grab onto the key and then they walk outside, go out the front door, walk over to the cellar entrance. So that's our other build here. There's not really a place to put the key in here but I would like to think that this is what it unlocks. So you can go into the cellar here. I like the outside here too. Got some more of the bright foliage pieces which make it match nicely with the rest of the elves sets. On this side, not entirely sure the purpose of this play feature but you can turn this and then I guess light a candle or set a candle up here. That's a bit weak in my opinion. But inside the cellar here, we've got another one of those, uh, not printed, one of those stickered tile pieces and then some more crystals growing. But the big thing about this cellar, and on the description it does say go into the cellar to find the egg and, uh, you know, put your, your dragon away to sleep. So, it's a little odd that this isn't actually inside and it doesn't even fit inside. You can kind of shove it in like that. That doesn't look great. But this dragon egg piece, look at that. That is really cool. Uh, I hope that these come out in much in a bunch of other colors. Maybe just plain uh, white, like not even trans transparent white, just 
just opaque white would be awesome for using it as dragon eggs or other giant flying creature eggs. Pulls apart in the two pieces here, has attachment points for four studs in the bottom. And inside we have Spark the Baby Fire Dragon. Another nice little dragon here. They have lots of cute little animals and elves and then also friends and I think this dragon is no exception. I think we've had this mold several times in the elf sets. Not necessarily in these colors though. So Spark here has trans red wings which look pretty good. Uh, they are trans red. You might just have to believe me on that. It's kind of hard to tell. And some little golden horns up top. So very cute little dragon. He can be held in the hand of a minifigure if you like. Or mini doll. Speaking of our mini dolls here, let's go ahead and move on to that part of our video. This set comes with two mini dolls as well as the Sparks uh, baby dragon figure. The mini dolls are from left to right. We have Azari Fire Dancer and then Sierra Copper Branch, the Sky Captain. And they both have new torsos here, new prints for this year. Of course, Sierra is in fact just a completely new character who we've never gotten in minifig form before. She does come in, I believe, two of these newer friend sets. Or actually, it's this set and then a poly bag, I believe, has her in it as well. And they both look great, good printing. Uh, not a huge fan of mini dolls, but it doesn't take away from their printing. You can even see that Sierra here has printing on her legs there, some nice golden texturing there. So that does look quite nice. Very nice detailed minifigs. Uh, we'll go ahead and show you the back. They've got good printing on the back. It's not, of course, as detailed here because their hair will cover it up. But there is Azari. And there is Sierra. And of course the hair pieces are just excellent for these with little elf ears. Uh, they can definitely be used on regular minifigs too, which is great because you could have some cosplayers or things like that, which is my plan. Use their hair pieces probably for cosplayers at conventions at my convention center mock that I'm working on. But they each have uh, little transparent tiles which represent their different magic. So Zari has fire magic and it looks like Looks like Seer there might have earth magic just like Farin does because I believe he uses the same color of transparent stud for his magic. And again another look there at the baby dragon spark. Let's go ahead and move on to my final thoughts on this set. For my final thoughts on this set, this is one that we will probably see a lot of people skip on actually because it doesn't have a big fire breathing dragon like some of the other sets do. I do think those will be more popular. In fact I saw this morning that the water dragon adventure which is the cheapest way to get one of the big dragons is actually already on back order from Lego's website even though it came out just a week ago. So those are proving very popular. This set I think will be less so because it is just a building doesn't have a whole lot of action going on. The play features mainly revolve around opening doors or revealing hidden keys and unlocking stuff as well as playing with the little dragon and posing up your figures at the table. So in that case, I don't think this will be as big of a draw for fans without that dragon pull for the set. But the architecture looks nice. You would be missing out on that if you didn't pick up this set. Those printed window pieces are excellent. Has nice curvature up on the second floor of the bed and behind with the drawer underneath it is a nice build. However, I do wish that there was more than just one bed in this set because an inn you think of as being somewhere that multiple people can spend the night on their adventures. In order to fix that, uh, you can actually resolve a little bit just with the pieces in this set. With this bed, those are two separate pieces that have those stickers on it. So you could pull one of those beds off and stick it somewhere else. Uh, you would have to completely rework how all of this is built in here, but it would give you an extra bed for a mini doll to sleep on. And then this set's printed pieces are fantastic with the the windows up front there being printed, the printed compass piece that's in that drawer, and then the tops of these logs being new printed pieces as well. So that could be a draw just for the pieces on this set. Overall I would say pick up this set if you're a fan of elves. If you're not a fan of elves, uh, it still has some nice architecture and some nice pieces for you to use. I hope you have enjoyed this video and will come back for more. Thank you for watching.